guys cool bella fans are not joking guys you can see their whole house for their favorite that's their fans that's cool dark and bella you can also see the video i just played about brownie hmm? that is brownie the medical student yeah she's i think she's also a nursing student you know either medical student or a nursing student the point is there is a medication there is something they call medical there is injection there is syringe so yes guys <laughs> guys welcome to my youtube channel thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please kindly do that for me do that for us now so we will not go miss this so you guys can be all you know so you go there you, you go you go there on track you know go miss track so guys yeah i think oyenaba and brownie yeah it's brewing yeah we can see that it's like yeah their friendship is growing somewhere and we can't wait to see more of them outside the house here yeah you no know, we are all i think me i am in support of any any ship that comes out of pm apps because it is actually it is called the perfect match for a reason so guys yeah i think their friendship is brewing and she also posted something on her tiktok she says Maybe he remember made a mistake in the trying to insult him or something, but she made you know she made a correction about that. Hmm. Guys, this one is serious there. You know? It's serious because this question and answer that Big Mama asked the house the house during the chat room when the couple went for the their chat room is serious. So. so guys, I will start from Kodak. Please pay attention and move with me. Because it's it's kind of it's this thing that, that is forming the relationship. So guys, let's start with Kodak and Bella. So yeah, guys, Kodak was asked that what is his favorite moment? That's the favorite experience they both had together in the house. And he make mention of the Friday night saying we are in the marching outfits, you know, dancing together, vibing that is something that you hold on for a while till the relationship lasts. So that is something you really you cherish a lot. That's his favorite moment in the house that's the friday night party who well, tell me who doesn't like the friday night party who we all love it no cap we all love it you know the house may be bare. every other person they are all vibing that's why we see the other side of them you know they are calling side of them and the vulnerable side of them after that you know yeah we all love the friday night and yeah he said that is his own favorite moment of that of co bella in the house that's bella and kodak moment mm? interesting guys bella was asked that does does she wish she has met kodak earlier and she used the word yeah because she has not had a perfect relationship for a, like for a while so meeting kodak and that she's enjoying peace in the relationship makes her feel like if she had met kodak earlier the relationship would have been better or should have enjoyed the peace she's enjoying now hmm. we all know they have met before but i think yeah let's just assume that was their mistake. It is all in the past. It's gone, guys. It's gone. So let's focus now on the present and also on the future. So we all wish them well. Mm -hmm. We all know where Bella is coming from and also Kodak. We wish them well. So guys, moving on. A lot of questions have been asked, you know. And again, 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 Kodak asks Bella again that what, what has she agreed to accept or let go? And Bella, you know Bella and uh, this kind of a doubting mind. We all know she asks Kodak question a lot. And it comes to that, hey, even Kodak, even me, if I'm good, like I will be tired because any small thing, there's this always in doubt in our yeah, yeah, Let me just move on from that. Scratch Be Bella, Bella says, Yeah, what she has come that she wants to let go is that the feeling of her thinking she will lose Kodak out, outside the house. As she, she, she would like to let that go of her mind that she will be herself as from now on, and whatever that happens, happen. And Big Mama also says that. Kodak, like, how does he feel when Bella said this? And he said, yes, Bella has been saying this for a very long time, that she has always talked about this relationship. And he said he doesn't like it, that she has been continuously saying this thing, but he doesn't like it, that he doesn't like her thinking about it, that definitely, for now, if what he's feeling for her is true, and he hopes he hope it keeps on going like that. And, you know, and Bella, Kodak has shot Bella once more again. Hmm? We all love the assurance. Hey guys, another question. Kodak, Bella asked Kodak that, do you love me? Hey, God. <laughs> Even me, though we have heard about I am drunk in love on Saturday night, on Sunday rather. But guys, this one is, is, a, is a, it's an out to out talk, you know? Chatting with an, with an invisible face. <laughs> guys, don't mind me. Guys, so Kodak says, he has said earlier on Twitter that he is drunk in love with Bella. That he feels and he wishes it continues that way. 
that I hope the feeling doesn't change. Hmm? We all hope that, you know, love is sweet. And and even me seeing Kodak being intentional about Bella, as in, it's something I love to see, you know, because he has always been a withdrawn person from time to time. He doesn't really talk much, but for him to say such on, uh, during the, uh, on, the, on the live program like that, that means it means to all that, yes, he has let go of the past, of the, yes, that he's trying to move on and face the future together. Hmm. Guys, let's go to Bebelino and Grace. Ah, you see this sheep? This sheep is giving all of us Kuma Wood vibe. You know, when Lil Wayne is trying to talk to the... <laughs> to Sewa on, you know? Yeah, it's giving us Kuma Wood vibe, you know? Yeah, they're both having fun. And those are doing their question and answer chat room time. Yeah, Bella, Grace, Grace says whenever she feels... She, she, she feels that Bebelino... Like maybe but you know he's feeling like yeah he wants to talk to someone that he shouldn't take their their private issues outside that he should try and wait even if she's not in the mood for conversation that he should wait and be patient she used the word patience and tolerance that that he shouldn't take their fears outside so yeah we all see what happens between brownie and baby you know when there was kind of a, a shaky relationship then so yeah what she's trying to buttress here is that Bebelino should be patient even if she hasn't replied he should wait so they should discuss their issue together with themselves and resolve their whatever that is happening in their house or in their relationship that like she doesn't like a partner going now to discuss their relationship outside yeah even me i don't like it so guys grace is on point <laughs> kudos to her so yes you know bebelino again and again also asks grace that what does she feel what's the situation that makes her feel like that, that that triggers a trust issue she also says yes like whenever she she sees a partner moving close or getting too comfortable with a female friend we all see what happened between sandra and jato we all know it all started from bestie bestie and she also make mention of her past relationship that was the one she had been speaking about in the house of the eight years kind of you know that, that was a sad situation of her uh, past relationship of eight years we all you know now that, that's normal and she says yeah, that's what's trick that does what triggers a trust issue that whenever she sees a female friend and she said she meant it even Barry was like, ah, you haven't said it before. And she said, yes, I meant it that whenever I see you getting close to a female friend, she always feel threatened, always feel like she's losing the guy or, you know, I trust, I trust became a doubt in her mind. Like, this guy is going. That, that was how she has lost a relationship. Because even, yes, we don't know anything. You know, Jato and Sandra started from their, you know, best, best thing. And we are happy. They are all happy. <laughs> Guys. So now Grace asks Bebe, do you love me? You know, yeah, Bebe said yes now. Of course, you all know there is love. <laughs> Guys, moving on to, you know, and again, 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 Grace also asks Bebe that, what is the one thing that I didn't understand about her? And Bebe says, <laughs> you know, it's funny. Like, the way the opposite line is funny. Bebe says that. And sometimes, you know, yeah, it's normal for a woman to be moody that Grace sometimes ignores, her, ignores him sometimes. So if you always feel like, there is a problem in the relationship <laughs> but no like grace is just moody she's trying to get herself back and grace was like yeah it's normal now remember was like he doesn't like it that he always feel worry about whenever he sees grace being silent or trying or being moody just sitting down in a position or he's actually he's asking her something and she's not replying the way he wanted so you always feel like there is an issue which is not so grace should please work on that aspect and they both agree definitely she's gonna work on it it's just normal and also he asked baby that was the one moment that makes grace feel that makes baby feel like grace is the one he says the time during the brownie issue that when grace started feeling jealous that she started crying and all that and there was one moment and highlight for me the when he says that grace should stop waking him up in the night to ask him any kind of question that he wants to sleep and grace was like that is the moment that is the moment she feel like asking the question that whenever a question pops up on her head anything that triggers that she will ask <laughs> yeah so that was the during their question and answer that was just the summary of it so we are all happy the ship is sailing guys blue ava is in ghana hmm. we also in yanya and blue ava vibing <laughs> even a hey, hey, well shash is a south african so it's not even else an issue now i don't want i don't like gossip but me and kokonsa we are enemies <laughs> Guys, yeah, Blue Eva is in Ghana, yes, I posted earlier. So, yeah, she also visited the Perfect Mat Extra House. She she was asked some questions by the housemates 
where um, Etona, Etonam Hack style, how does she monetize her music and also the rest and also where she is from. And yeah, Blue Ava is now called Efia. You know, she's a Friday. She said she'll be a Friday born. So she call her Efia. Oh, Efia. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she's having fun in Ghana, guys. Yeah. And also, she was in the Perfect Manchester. She did a DJ thing there, performed the music and also give the housemates some kind of advice. Hmm. Interesting. If this is the best time to, to be a Ghanaian, I'll be right. <laughs> so, guys, yeah, that is the moment. No perfect match is sadly coming to an end by tomorrow. Oh, guys, I will miss you, but don't worry, I will be here for you. Don't forget, just as in stay put, you know, they call stay put. Big brother Ninja season hate is coming. We'll be, I'll be in Nigeria, just like you know, now we'll be giving you back to back this time around. No stopping, no season, you know. We died here. We know, no, we don't die. We lived here. <laughs> so, guys, yeah. Moving on, let's just wait for Big Brother and Just Season 8. I'll be there to bring you the, the, the G's and the highlights. Also, follow us on Facebook and on TikTok, guys. It is happening there. If it's on Facebook, we are there. Like, we are there. Big Brother 8, Season 8. Hmm. We are there, guys. So, guys, thanks for always watching. Kindly subscribe, drop your comment, and also click the like button. Yes, 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 guys. Thank you for always watching. Bye. Meda se papa. Bye.